Hello, I'm EdgeMofo4, and I am back on the Casecraft server. So something very exciting that has made me very happy has happened on the server. We have updated to one of the latest snapshots, which means one thing. We have to play the new slime block mechanics. So what I want to do in this episode, aside from showing you some spawn updates, uh, new businesses popping up, is I want to show you four of my favorite inventions that I've seen so far that have come from the new slime block one. So, uh, actually three of them I did not come up with, but one of them I haven't seen, but it's pretty simple and straightforward. So, uh, let's go over here right now, and let's start with building a flying machine. And I don't, there's so many people now that have come up with these, it's ridiculous. But, this is probably the smallest one I've seen on the YouTubes, <laughs> in a dark alleyway somewhere. Um, let's actually get some dirt right here. So you're gonna use a regular, slime a uh, regular piston right there and then a slime block on it but then a sticky one right here and then a regular one and then a slime block that's it and then you just got to pop on some of this redstone on the slime and then one right here and they extend and then break it it just updates it and then there you go it's flying look at the block went with it <laughs> so you can ride on these but uh you can fall off and they're really laggy so that's why i only did it fly a little ways away and it destroyed my frames while i did that this snapshot is ridiculous, but all right, so let's go to the next cool thing, and that is minecarts, and this is really fun. This is probably the most fun. Ooh, it got really dark. That's weird. This is the most fun part of this, so we're going to hit this button, and I, this is not the most successful trip, but it is really cool. You fly in minecarts, and I believe you do in boats, too, and that is awesome. Let's do that again. <laughs> I want to do it again, and it's really simple. It's just a piston. It's very... It's very simple. Detector rail. All right, let's go again. Ooh, get over there. Load it back up. It's like riding on a roller coaster again and again. <laughs> Yay, fly! And what people actually do is they have... Ow, that's going to murder me. And they have... Oh, just leave it there. They have a gap, and then they have you land on a rail again, and then you keep going, and you can keep going around and around. That's awesome. Roller coasters, everybody! All right, so let's go to the next one. Uh, this one's probably the most laggiest one, I swear, <laughs> but it's really fun. So when you usually jump from a high distance, it will uh, half your jump when you land on a uh, slime block. But now you can hit with one piston. It's moving 12 slime blocks. Um, that's awesome. And then it's just basically, it goes back and forth between the hoppers and it sends a signal. So here we go. Oh, you have a trampoline. This is amazing. So you can make roller coasters and trampolines. This is awesome. Okay, let's get off here. Oh, I don't like. <laughs> it's scary. But another cool thing you can do is you can actually, what people do is they have dispensers that just automatic like machine gun arrows on there. And then they launch up a TNT, and then what happens is the arrows fly, and then the TNT blows up and shoots the arrows. It's really cool. I didn't want to do that on a server. That could be bad, but come on. Get down. There we go. <laughs> but uh, that's really cool, and you can like launch arrows at people. All right, so my most favorite one, best for last, that I've been saving is... Vertical redstone. So you could do vertical redstone upwards, but you couldn't do it downwards. But now you can. <laughs> it sounds like an ad, like on a, a TV commercial. I'm trying to sell you something. But uh, okay, so all you have to do before is block in a torch and block in a torch. But now you can, all you have to do is a piston with 11. You can go all the way up to 11 blocks of slime and then a redstone block at the end. And then all you have to do if you want to make it more, so you can go like infinite, is you just have to put this, just keep stacking them on each other. So when this goes down, it hits the next piston, which will hit at the next slime and all that, blah, blah, blah. Um, you don't have to obviously have it this long. You could have like one or two blocks of, um, of slime and then you could have a redstone, but this is the maximum one segment can do. So here we go. And that's amazing. <laughs> if you know redstone, you know how much of a hassle it is to go downwards because you have to staircase and then put the every once in a while you put a repeater down. But this, all you have to do is literally, if you're at the top, this could be underground and you could just have like a lever. Boom, it sends a signal downwards. It is amazing. I'm going to be using this a lot and it is getting nighttime and very dangerous. So I'm going to actually cut to a segment of um, me going to spawn and checking out a little prank that's been there and we respond to it. <laughs> Alright, so thank you for watching. I'm going to cut to this next segment and hope you enjoy. I'm going to run inside now. Alright, so it's head to... Uh, I think I have cobble on me. I do not, but I have resources at MVS. So let's head to spawn and let's see what happens there because there's actually development. Let's actually ender pearl. He that's a good throw. I've, this is how I get to town. <laughs> Who needs minecarts when you just tr like hurl yourself? 
I'm, I can't. I don't know. I don't like uh, not being on fancy. Oh, here we go. We're here. <laughs> uh, let's head over to the middle of spawn because I heard there's uh, there's something. Someone messed up my statue. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this I actually turned my statue into a chicken because that's everybody guessed that it was. Uh, there was also a sign that said, um, go to uh, eh, Justin's chicken thing. These chickens are, oh my god, get out of here. Oh no, I made another. Um, it was advertisement for his Chick-fil-A, and I was so mad. But I think Matt did it, but we might have to just get revenge on Justin anyway. <laughs> Alright, so I need to actually tear this puppy down and get to my statue making more. And I think at the end of the episode, I'll show you another piece added. Uh, everybody on the server at this point knows exactly what it is, but uh, I haven't spoiled it for you guys. If you want to keep guessing in the comments, it's not a giant chicken. I'm definitely going to tear this down. I wish I could burn it down, but there's just so many giant trees around it. It's very dangerous work. Um, all right, so let's get over here to MVS really quick and see if anybody bought all of our uh, Silk Touch books because that was such a great deal. Everybody was saying I was ripping people off, but Ryu... And I went on a little mining trip, just to, uh, just getting some diamonds and stuff, because we're running a little low on resources. He said I was actually, not only had a good deal, I probably had him a little low. So he came over, and he actually bought me out. So, let's go over here, and check in here. We got four diamonds. Well worth the effort. I love that. Uh, we have our shears, so I didn't really even need them. And we have a silk touch diamond pickaxe already. Eh, I can't parkour anymore. I moved the lamps. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep working on spawn. I've expanded it since you guys have seen, actually, uh, and a bunch of new businesses have popped up. So I showed you the wool shop. I added a new fancy tree right here. It doesn't look as fancy that it's not uh, that it's not in fancy mode. <laughs> but uh, once we get out of the snapshot, hopefully 1.8 will come out soon, and then uh, hopefully they'll fix those problems. So let's go to the nearest shop here. Uh, apparently, Averto is building very close to this building. I don't know why. But he's making a, uh, a hotel or a motel. He hasn't really specified. And he has, he's employing dogs. So congratulations with your employees. You don't have to pay them health care. Because um, they're animals. <laughs> a nice deck here. I really like that. A good view. Oh, there's a pillar in there. In Kyle's house that he never plays. So it's perfect. You don't get worried about him coming over. <laughs> Ow. That is dangerous. We need a railing there stat. All right. So let's head over here. And this was actually here first. Matt's Magic Shop. I told him Magic Bookshop. I told him to spell that correctly. He spelled it wrong with a G. That's not how you spell that. Everything is one block of iron, unless marked. Enjoy your stay. So this is really cool. Uh, when Ryu, I came, Ryu, I, Ryu and I came back from our uh, mining trip, we actually came here and spent a little bit of cash. Uh, we kind of bought the place out of the good stuff. But uh, Power Books. It's kind of cool. He has mine carts hidden back there. So it's like you're grabbing it right out of the shelf. Very nice. Ooh, which got sword enchantments here. Ooh, sharpness four. That was it. For one block of iron? Oh, I might be spending some cash here. Uh, and then you just pay right here. Oh, that should probably be closed. Was there a chicken in there? No, okay. <laughs> Fishing rods. Uh, just lure two. So he needs to restock a little bit. He's been bought out a little bit. I like these uh, rafters up here. It's very cool. Nice building. Um, you just you got a neighbor that's very... Very in the way. Oh, I'm going to go into a shop. Boom. Run my face right into the building. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next one over here. And I need to... I don't know what I'm going to do with this empty area. I'm probably just going to slap a bunch of trees in there. That's how I solve spawn problems. <laughs> uh, okay, so who built this one? I actually... I put the path over here. I'm extending the town. Let's see a little bit of bread. Build the suspense. You probably paused it and read the signs already. Uh, this is Steve's stuff. That is fun to say. Buy, sell, trade. It's like a stock market. Okay, bricks or rare metals cost two blocks of iron. Ooh, a little spendy here. And, yeah, two blocks of iron for one block of redstone? You kidding me? One slime block for two blocks of... Come on, Steve. Let's fix those prices here. <laughs> uh, armor, weapons, enchantment, gear. Okay, these are not great prices. Maybe the horse armor. There was diamond here. I know there was. Someone bought it. Five blocks of iron. Oh, you think these prices are terrible, but... He's a very kind person. All profits, uh, profits, all profits from this shop are considered donations towards building the minecart. <sighs> Take a breath. Track to the end portal and enter, enter. So he's not pocketing the profits. So they're a little high, but it's donations. It's charity. 
to because I really don't like going the Ender Ender. It's a little, it's a walk. It's like a couple hundred blocks that way. Way too far away. Be generous. Help me help you. And we are back to 120 frames. Yay. I can keep recording now. Um, cost block one. Food. Oh, he's out of food. We're going to starve to death. Um, that, I think that's all his shop is. There's a nice cash register. It's very nice. We probably should go look behind the scenes, see if this is a shady business or anything. Oh, it was very dark. Let's see. There you go, buddy. No spawning things down here. Okay. He needs a lot of help, everybody. Please donate to him. Um, okay, here we go. I feel bad. We'll just, we'll just throw in here. Here you go. Here's a block of iron. Oh, he won't even notice. Great. <laughs> I'm going to go back and take that back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so let's get out of here. Oh, this is a cool. It's like a line. Like you go into like a Burger King or something. You got to go through the little rails. <laughs> All right, so I think that's all of the businesses. Oh, I don't think you guys have seen this either. Uh, I asked Steve to build a minecart because he had like a little thing over there that he had hooked to his house, his uh, train station or minecart station. So I asked him, can you hook up a train station? The old transfer hub in progress. So he got started on it and uh, oh, smacked my head. Okay. Um, yeah, he just uh, he hooked it up over here. <laughs> So there's a few open ones. I think this one's going to hook to... Oh, he's already dug it a little bit. I think that's going to go to the end. And people can hook their houses up here if you don't want to use the end. And use the nether portal, I mean. Uh, no one started on the nether hub yet. I was going to do it a long time ago. I was like, hey, I don't want to have to build everything. So I was like, please, someone else build it. And then I think Matt and Galax and them volunteered. Um... Yeah, I, it just needs to get started, hopefully, because I don't really worry about it too much, because I'm pretty close, just like two ender pearls away from spawn. Oh, there's a zombie in there. Uh, we're, I just can't wait to tear this thing down. I wish I could burn it. I really do. Maybe, we'll, like, pour water on the trees. Oh, hello, zombie. <laughs> You're in my statue. Get out of there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hey, look. Oh, I love it. They all turned on. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Um, I'm going to leave, tear this ugly piece of junk chicken down. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to tear this chicken down, and I'm going to build another section, because you guys really don't want me to build the statue on camera. As you saw last time, it was it was hideous. I mean, I could not even put one single block correctly. So <laughs> I'm going to tear this down, build another piece of my statue, a very awesome piece. It's pretty much going to give away the entire statue, so be excited. <laughs> All right, so be right back. All right, so I had a change of heart. You know what? I want to send a message with this, okay? I'm going to go up here, and whoever put this chicken over my beautiful cobblestone statue that I've been going, I want them to know I'm going to tear this beak off this chicken. Oh, they used obsidian for the eyes. Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> here we go. Oh, I wanted to just see this. I'm tearing this thing down. This chicken's going down. Oh, no more weird red thing below your chin. There we go. Get out of here. That'll show them. Let's see what this thing looks like now. You gotta send a message with this kind of pranking. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's see what this... I get so much free wool now. I'm, I'm gaining. Oh yeah, that's not a chicken anymore. Take that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna uh, tear the rest of this thing down. Oh, I guess it's going without me. Get up here. I'm gonna tear the rest of this thing down, and I'm actually gonna be back right back this time. So <laughs> be right back. All right, so the hideous monster of a ch <laughs> of the spawn chicken is gone, um, and replacing it is the most beautiful of beautiful tails I have ever seen. So this thing I was kind of worried about, uh, and it just barely missed the tree. <laughs> it's like in the tree. Um, I might have to do something about that. I'm not sure. But it's very nice. I think I'm going to, when the statue is finished, I'm going to put like, oh, don't start raining. Oh, okay, I thought it was going to start raining. Um, I'm going to put like mossy cobblestone now that we can make it. Oh, I'm very happy about that. Uh, to make it look a little old and really cool and mossy, of course. <laughs> Maybe I'll put some vines on it to kind of rustify it over here. So that is a tail. Those are two weird looking claw feet. What is that noise? There must be a cave under there. I thought that was rain at first. Um, so what could this possibly be? You've already guessed it. Okay, I should shut up now. I go now. <laughs> All right, so thank you for watching. Oh, okay, before I end this video, when I was tearing down the chicken, I it's hollow, so just like real chickens. Um, and when I was breaking it open, I, there was a zombie, and he had captive this poor defenseless dog. 
and he took a little tumble when I tore down the chicken, but he survived, and he's abandoned. I don't know. Who would treat an animal so poorly? Shame on you, sir. I'm going to uh, adopt this slash hold for ransom this dog, and if the owner wants it back, they're going to have to go through me. <laughs> it go through the adoption process. All right, so that is it, I believe. Thank you for watching. I am back on Fancy because I could not stand it anymore. I will sacrifice the frames. <laughs> All right, so thank you for watching. Let's look at the tail some more. It's, it's very nice. Is it a tail? Hmm, I don't know. No, it's a tail. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm Magic 4 Comment, like, and subscribe if you want to. Um, I am going to love making the statue. Hopefully someday I'll finish it. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um... Let me know what cool slime block things you've made, and uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, and I'm gonna go now, okay, bye. <laughs> bye.